Hey everybody, I am here with Mr. President, the new game from GMT Games designed by uh, Gene Billingsley. It is a massive box, like a three inch box. Um, the American Presidency 2001 to 2020. I have just taken the, um, the uh, plastic wrap off the outside. I haven't done anything else because uh, I haven't had a chance to and I thought I would just um unbox this and, and share it with anybody that uh wanted to check it out but here we are we'll go ahead and get going and um yeah so there is the box uh, like I, I showed before giant box uh you can see my hand there very big box very heavy box uh could have called it potus but they chose to call it mr Bro president um yeah number one board game on board game geek right now but it is here we're going to take a look at it uh it says it's a historical solitary game about governing as the president of the united states in the early 21st century it begins after you've been elected it's about sitting in the chair and trying to advance your agenda while navigating ongoing crises political enemies public opinion your relations with congress and the press keeping your country secure in a world of rival nations and agendas that just seem to keep blowing up around you it's a resource management game where you never have enough resources to achieve your entire agenda and the path you take through an always unpredictable storyline rests on the choices you make 180 crisis cards that create not completely control the storyline for each game game boards allow you to see and track the domestic and world situations as the story evolves the game is dynamic, deep, and immersive, which will frustrate and delight the solitaire player. There are no cooperative rules, but the game is great fun with two to four friends playing together for forge their way in the world. Um, with the cards in the mix and sub, multiple, sub, multiple subsystems representing the U.S. Economy, Congress, and Homeland Security, the press, presidential prestige, Russia, China, hostile rogue states, and staunch allies, no two games will ever play remotely the same. Um you get to raise your right hand, swear the oath, and settle in behind the resolute desk in the Oval Office. Let your imagination run wild. So that is what we're going to be looking at here. Oh my goodness, that's so heavy. So let's get right in to it. Uh, do we get? Okay, it's page. It says to my successor, and it's a uh, single page here. Now, no one can tell you how to be POTUS beyond this. Okay, I'm not going to read all that. Your predecessor, whoever you imagine the predecessor to be. And here is turn sequence flipbook. This is really nice uh, looking at least. Held to chief. It shows our turn sequence here. And activation phase two, one, two, three, four, final activations. Um, important things and then it says this is how you're going to go through all these things so a pretty complex game in terms of how many things you're doing although it's supposed to be fairly simple to learn once you get going so this is going to walk us through how to play beginning of each turn sequence you have special activations um I turn to it. Yep. Okay. US SOE impact improves strategic capabilities. Cabinet focus action for POTUS and cabinet member. And activation phase Russia or China actions. Any three actions draw one crisis chit, ally rogue, cabinet focus. Decrease media relations, perform two domestic actions. Okay, so it keeps going through. It's going to walk you through each part of this here. I'm not doing any how to play right now. I'm just showing you the components and first thoughts. And right now, I'm already like, wow, this is a lot in here. And I think I will have time to set this up at night when nobody else is doing anything and leave it set up on a table and kind of come back to it here and there. I don't know how many other people will. Final activation, draw that. And end of turn cleanup and consequences. Historical scenarios, midterms and re election. All right. And then 
There's uh, credits at the end. Lots of credits there. Okay. All these are playtesters down here. Okay. How to play. Um, but we have all this going, basically we're going to have crisis cards, nuclear missile tracks, strategic tracks. This is your main sideboard, um, state of the nation, Congress and legislation, the white house cabinet and your administration turn sequence and all the world regions over here. So a lot going on there. Again, that kind of turn order sequence that was laid out in the first book that's in the flip book we have action points or APs and rerolls crisis chits and crisis cards winning and losing all right a lot going on there but that's pretty simple the governing manual the UGM book how to be president Basic concepts. Year decks, the different types of things in it. This is gonna go through and tell you about all the different things when you have questions in detail. And operation. Past legislation, legislative priorities, homeland security, regional crises, regions, China, Russia, Eurozone, track for that, and your postures with those major uh, countries, diplomatic arena, capabilities, conflict tracks, UN peacekeepers, terror, rogue states that are out there civil wars that you have to be aware of just all the different things intel u.s military footprint heavy units governing manual all of that okay domestic charts is our next one here cabinet improvement table congressional legislative Okay, so this is going to take us through all these different things. This contains all the charts and tables you will need to deal with domestic events and actions as they come up as you play. Campaign promise, congressional maneuvering, state of the union, greater society, past is prologue. And levels of victory. Uh, for the standard scenario um, and then here's some good times some different kind of um, things whenever the game instructs you to make a good times die roll roll a d10 and compare it to this table here and I'll tell you what's going on this is levels of victory uh, if you are a really good president you're going to be um, Abraham Lincoln if you're really bad you're going to be James Buchanan so top up here, worst down here. And that's uh, already. So comparative rankings based on the American Political Science Association, not including any presidents after 1960 to try to avoid political bias, which is an interesting statement in and of itself. World charts. So it's trying to be uh, value neutral or at least Gene is, the designer. Diplomatic charts, regional summit table. Get you an action chart. Sanctions, trade agreements. This book is going to contain all the charts that you will use to determine the results of events calling upon a diplomatic response, including regional crises, regional summits, trade agreements, and UN actions. That's what this one is for. And then it breaks it down where they're all at. Like we can go to terror on page 20. I don't think I'm going to go through this book on a page by page basis. Cause you could find that later if you need to. Sure. Past is prologue world events. There you go. Terra acts, things like that. 
Outline in Rogue States. Let's see what this one is telling us. Let's just grab all these books out. Okay, so we have several several books here. This one is about uh, Ally and Rogue Nation Action Chart, Group A, UA, NATO, uh, Republic of Korea, and Iran. So specific things that you might have to deal with as president. UK, Japan, North Korea here. So these are action tables for us. Well, that's pretty straightforward that way. World Peer Russia Act. Uh, this Russia Acts flipbook contains all the charts you will use to determine the actions of Russia when called upon to do so in the turn sequence, as well as to determine the outcome of summits between the USA and Russia. All right. And there's some results. So basically you're going through some uh, assumed simulations and scenarios there. Similar thing for China here. So Russia and China are playing the major... Um, antagonists assumed in this i guess china acts and similar table there for that one and then here we have presidential briefing examples of play and designer notes this is this is an optional briefing we realize you may wish to forge your own path in the world and develop your own strategies learning is if so disregard this this contains hints, strategies, and ways of approaching the game based on the experience of past administrations. It's here to help, not impose. If you find the challenge of being president daunting, dare we say overwhelming, then the material contained here may help you gain bearings and develop winning strategy. Good luck. So I might read this first. This might be my read first. I won't give anything away. And then Gene said, thank you, August 2022. All right, and scenarios. These are our Scenario starting with our core scenario, the sandbox one. Welcome to the White House. Random counter and crisis chit draws. Place general game counters, cards, place counters on holding sideboard. And then we have our first core scenario here 20 whatever. Sometime soon, you get a vice president and your chief of staff, secretary of state, and secretary of defense. And then uh, the next scenario is on page four, uh, 12. If you get a second term and what that looks like and then some historical scenarios let's see what one of the let's see what we got the historical scenarios um, use a course set up and then there's six of these okay let's see here so 2001, 2004, basically different years within the last 20 years, as evidenced by the name of the game. Okay, this is what some people will not like, but this is what other people are here for. So here we have our uh, first of five um, chipboard punch-outs. I don't think there's going to be any problem with the quality of Quality of GMT uh, boards is pretty good, and, and they're fine. So these ones, okay. Let's let's take a look at what we have down here. We have UN goodwill across the bottom. I'm not going to punch everything out right now. I'm just going to take a little look at it, and we'll keep moving because there is a lot to go through. Okay, so we have UN goodwill down here, uh, estranged Gulf states, Republic of Korea, Australia, Canada, UK, NATO. Israel, India, and Japan. What's the same on the other side? Uh, very close on all these. Okay. And we have... Uh, these are at war. All these here are at war. Everything from the Balkan states. Um, U.S. at war. India at war. Israel. All these down here. Um, U.N. goodwill. Regional U.N. troops. Media relations, public approval, state of the economy, homeland security, relations with Congress, kind of those things that we saw of uh, major areas. Uh, Iran, U.S. military footprint is what all these are. We do have the Taiwan, Taiwan chit here and Egypt uh, chit here too for at war. 
uh, multilateral sanctions are up here. Regional crisis, regional stability, and regional alignment. Okay, so that's kind of that one. And, and there is a current turn, too. Next up, we have Terror Group, China, Influence, Rogue State, Chits, uh, action points for Russia. These are named individuals. What are these? They look like people speaking, and then it says like radical here and moderate and radical and moderate down here two for these so these are media i'm not sure what these ones are right now these are also media then we have rogue state and unilateral sanctions again here uh up next let's look we have uh scandals for everyone from the potus to individual cabinet members uh, strategic capil capabilities for China and Russia, U.S. Marine Corps below that, relative strengths, um, cabinet focus priority, DARPA, which is kind of cool to see, party relations focus, national intel, China war, all these at, at war, these are black uh, wars, domestic crises, draw crisis cards, that's what these kind of brown ones are here. UN sanctions, strategic capabilities, trending anti-US, ally rogues, conflict type. Okay. Uh, sheet. Sheet four here. China posture, Russia posture, relations, US Air Force carrier, Army heavy, Intel advisors, Army light, special ops, War one two three four five, and these are different bills in here. Tensions is what all these are. Weapons of mass destruction and action point additional things here. Next one up we have this one which has uh, civil war and ceasefire and then civil war in here. Different priorities, everything from like energy independence to welfare reform or expanding NASA funding. Down here, this is a conflict status chit. Your party controls. Lingering domestic issues. Congregation, uh, not congregation, congressional bipartisan, bipartisan cooperation. Cabinet effectiveness. Legacy points. Must choose Intel ally. Economy improving. Public priority. Different things like Russia SOE, healthy longevity advance, security defense, space, lacking social graces, minus two public appearance, and some other things that I'm not quite clear on yet. Ally at war. Um, I guess these are different um, personality traits down here because this one says like Teflon, minus two to press scandal rules. Likeable, plus three to public, um, so things like that. And then we have more sheet here, domestic master actions. Um, only the POTUS, the vice president, and the chief of staff can use these. Stimulate economy, address domestic crisis, lingering domestic issue, or improve relations with Congress. We have our presidential master actions, which only the POTUS can use these during designated segments. Double-sided. Military, only the POTUS and the Secretary of Defense can use these. Diplomatic master, POTUS, Vice President, and Secretary of State can use these actions. And then we have World of Opinion, U.S. negative one, public approval negative two, legacy points negative three. So terror group holding area, that's just single-sided there. 
All right. State uh, status of conflict. So we have wars that could be going on. And then we have to track what's going on there with uh, military and strength and so forth. And now this is probably the part people are interested in seeing is the size of these boards. Give me a second to clean this up a little bit here. All right. Let's see what we have going on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to play this. I don't, I don't think without uh, changing my setup. I'm not going to be able to play this on a live stream because of how much table space this all takes up. I I would have to record somewhere else or find a different way. Okay, so here is this uh, this board. I'm not going to be able to fit it all in here because it is a big board. No, almost there. We go. Um. So we have strategic capabilities track conflict tracks, past legislation, pending bills, bipartisan cooperation. Um, our crisis deck goes up here, and then two deck, three deck, year two, three, and four. Our spots for that. Military assets. None here. This is all different things like India, China, Pac India, Pakistan, Russia, NATO, Russia, Ukraine, China, Japan, EPRK and ROK, Israel, Iran, Israel neighbors, uh, Iran and GSNSA, US Iran. So that's all just one board. Let's take a look at the next board. This is the one that I was like, wow. Let's uh, set that one to the side for just a minute. Um, this is a large board like um, this is an eight panel board um, so let's go over some different parts of it this is why I was saying I can't fit this all in my current setup for streaming um, Okay, so up here it says exceptional White House resources. There's two spaces for that. President of the United States attributes, and then key cabinet officials, public legislation priorities, administration legislation priorities, cabinet drama table, which you can roll for, cabinet improvement table, which you roll for, POTUS and cabinet focus, which is going to go in here. Um, and then it tells us about that and tensions. There's a scandal track down here where you determine things, cabinet effectiveness, where we're going to track that, party relations, turn sequence is also here. And remember that we, yeah, it looks like a lot, doesn't it? There's there's a lot going on. And um, if you just missed uh, the other board, uh, I'll, I'll show you that again. Um, so this, there there's two boards. This was the one that I just showed a minute ago. And okay, so there's that was that board. And that's why I was saying I, I don't I'm not gonna be able to stream this one and I will have to figure out a different setup if I'm gonna actually record anything uh, as far as how to play because it just takes up a massive amount of room. It's um between the two boards it's twelve panels. So yeah. Okay, so there's that. Um, and you're gonna go and go through all these um, uh, starting at the top and going down, uh, going through your, your, and that's remind. There's a reminder here of that. Um, and then we have these different parts of the world, uh, everything from the continental U.S., Eurozone, uh, Central America, Middle East, South America, Africa, and there's game turn track here, presidential prestige track along here, and. Public approval is down here at the very bottom that you end up tracking to. And um, let's see here. Let's go to the next couple panels. It's hard to get it all in here. And 
there we go. Um, so Eastern Europe, Russian Federation, including relations with the U.S., um, which is different than some of these others. There's intel on most of these. This one is all about relations, and so is China, the People's Republic of China, Central South Asia. Let me get that out of the way. In Asian Asia and Pacific over here too, where we do have the DPRK, Japan, Australia, and the Republic of Korea down here. Um, so Russia, Chinese influence. This is regional alignment and stability track over here. And then um, just some credits, Gene's credit and development from Mike Berticelli and graphic design, Donald Higgerty and Terry Leeds. So lots going on there between um, what you're tracking there and everything else. But it's actually starting kind of, kind of to come together in my mind a little bit. It's going to take some reading. Um, okay, I'm going to put those to the side. Let's take a look at some cards. Though. And so there is a uh, let's D10 in here and a D6 uh, for those rolls. Just uh, red, white, and blue dice. And let me show you so the side of the interior of the box. It's kind of cool. Now that it's empty um so it says like 2011 nasa shuttle program ends paris climate accords uh conflict in central african republic north korean nuclear weapons test so just all different events um from the last 20 years are shown um on both sides of the box including uh like the arab spring beginning in 2010 that's nothing else there. All right, some cards. Let's look at some cards. It's already in an incredibly uh, text heavy game, so I'm curious what's up with these cards. Okay, they, they look they look text heavy too. But all right, um, your White House Chief of Staff is amazing. So. Awesome Chief of Staff, Amazing Secretary of Treasury. Okay, so these are a lot of text on these. But they're fairly straightforward, it looks like. Okay, so those are, look, let's see. I think these are all the same type of card. Oh, here's one. Okay, all right. Uh, appro uh, appropriate with the uh, smoke we were having in... Cincinnati today coming down from Canada. Wildfires burn through the West. Plus one domestic crisis. Place one tensions counter on the POTUS cabinet focus. Um, decide whether to spend zero, one, or two action points. Then roll a D6. And subtract the number of APs spent. Zero or less. America follows your lead with a massive outpouring of donations and volunteerism. Plus two public approval. Then do the action shown here. One to four. No further effect. Then... Uh, do the action here. So, or if you get a five plus, your slow moving response seen as uncaring amidst overwhelming human tragedy, minus two public approval, and then do the action shown. Clean up costs and concerns, place one tension on counter, and it tells you the rest of what to do. Plus one domestic crisis and minus two public approval. So it's going to walk you through how to do um, all of that. Lots of different cards in here. Flooding devastates Houston and Gulf ports. So real things walks us through all that and some um, possible scenarios too, it looks like. So much text though. So much text to get through. Uh, yep. Unsurprisingly, a lot of text. Okay, next deck here, because we have three decks. To get through. Um, these are cascading events is what these ones are called. A green down here in the bottom corner. Show that. Sorry, my lights are the other direction. Cascading event. Okay. 
but there's also these ones that just say ev event um so yeah there's lots of okay interesting so there's gold ones that are exceptional white house resources natural disasters terrorism events and then i guess we're on the cascading events right now I'll, I'll give you an example on here of this plus one domestic crisis minus two public approval roll a d10 one to five scandal and department of defense place a new scandal for the secretary of defense six to ten dni resigns minus one to cabinet effectiveness or uh two down here if cyber strategic capability is less than the cyber capability of russia china plus one domestic crisis minus two public approval minus one rwc otherwise no for effect and then do the thing and then okay so there's flow charts um here's an, uh, an event minus one regional crisis in any two world regions ngos unite to combat crisis okay so there's good things and bad things in those the events are blue down here in the corner. Uh, the other ones are named as what they are. All right. Let's see what the final cards are. And then I'm going to go get some rest myself. Um, these are just events, too. I don't see anything but blue events. But let's read one more. And not a lot of art here. There's just a tiny bit of art on the sides of these. But... Very, very text heavy. Um, here, um, media slant, minus one or plus one. Plus one domestic, this is called healthcare and crisis as doctors, hospitals, insurers deny coverage to government provided plans. Plus one domestic crisis, minus two public approval, move healthcare reform to um, number one on public priority track, place one tensions counter on the POTUS cabinet focus. There we go. Okay. So those are all different types of things that are going to happen. This is a big game. I'm not going to sure, really sure how I'm going to present more on it. I might just be taking pictures and writing about it. But that is that is an unboxing of everything that was in here in the box. I am going to be diving into this later on. But Mr. President, the uh, American presidency, I think what I'm going to be uh, take a look at first is personally is the turn sequence flip book and the presidential briefing to uh, get myself more into what's going on in the game thanks for watching uh, if you watch later on and have questions and I, I i'm able to answer them i don't know how long it will take me to get through these because i do have some other things i have to do too but if i can i will try to answer those but either way um Happy gaming, and I will catch you later. Good night.